Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair. Today I'm going to be showing you how to uninstall or reinstall Internet Explorer. Technically, believe it or not, we now use pretty much the new Microsoft Edge that's pretty cool that runs off of the Chromium based system. If not, you should get it. And you probably don't even know that the old Internet Explorer is there, but it is. So here's the old classic Internet Explorer. It's used for only sites that technically can still need this or if it's a very old program that you're something like editing or making an old custom HTML or something like that to use the old Internet Explorer. But regardless, we're pretty much going to be showing you how to uninstall this or if you need to get it back, how to reinstall it. Let's go ahead and get started. So first thing you do is pretty much go to start. And once you get there, we're going to go ahead and select settings. Then select apps. And you would think that it would be in here, but that's not what we're looking for. We're actually going to go ahead and select the optional features. Once you get to there, you will see a big list of other apps. The one that we're looking for is Internet Explorer. You'll go ahead and select it and press uninstall. It shouldn't take too long, so it's very quick. It does recommend a reboot is required. So technically we're going to go ahead and restart this computer. It might look like you're doing Windows updates because technically that's how Internet Explorer used to do it before. So we'll see what it does and we'll be back once it's back up. So here it is. It technically looks like it's getting Windows ready. Don't turn off the computer. So pretty much it's looking like it's doing Windows updates, but it's not. It's actually just doing some changes on the program and let it do its work. All right, right now it's pretty much restarting and it should come up in a bit. It's finishing up and here's Windows loading up. So we're going to go ahead and see once it's done if the Internet Explorer is there. So here I am. I'm pretty much going to start. I'm going to go ahead and type in up Internet Explorer. It still shows that it's technically there. So I actually check and see. It is not loading up. So technically it might be getting a glitch. Oh, there it goes. It disappeared. So for a second, it showed that Internet Explorer was there, then it disappeared. So it's pretty much gone. Let's see if I'm really typing that. Internet Explorer. No, it is not coming up at all. So there's the program. It's uninstalled, and you're pretty much good. Now, it does come to a point that you do want to need Internet Explorer, and you do want it to be installed. Then technically, you would go to the same steps by going to Settings. And then we're going to go ahead and go to Apps. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and select optional features. And when you get to there, you're going to see the selection where it says add a feature. Go ahead and select it. And you can scroll through until you find it, or you could just type in Internet Explorer. I'm just going to go ahead and type it right here, Internet. And Internet Explorer came up. I'm going to go ahead and select it. Press install. And it'll probably take a maybe about a minute, depending on there, for the installation. And it'll possibly tell us to go ahead and restart the computer again for it to do its work. So let's see what it does. Alrighty, so it says that the Internet Explorer is installed. It says a reboot is required. So I'm going to go ahead and restart the computer. And once it's done, we'll see if the Internet Explorer is back on the computer. Let's go ahead and let it do its work. Alrighty, guys, so pretty much Windows is loading back up. Once it pretty much completes, we're going to go ahead and see if the Internet Explorer is back on here. Alright, so pretty much it's pretty much done loading up. I'm going to go ahead and just type in up Internet Explorer. It's still doing its work, so let me give it some time. It's probably still in process for it. Windows is loading up. I'm seeing icons starting up here. Let me go ahead and try this again. There it is. Internet Explorer is here. And it is back here working perfectly how you wanted it before. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching from Houghton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store. Link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.